Since the early 1900s, conservation efforts saved many primary forests from the axe. In 1931, Save the Redwoods League purchased Rockefeller Forest from the Pacific Lumber Company, preserving one of the most majestic stands in the world. But logging continued upslope, and when the storms of 1964 raged, the hillsides came down, sweeping away many of the ancient redwoods. To protect the forest, we learned the whole watershed needed protecting. Today, the tops of these magnificent trees are dying back. This time they are threatened, as we all are, by climate change. Scientific American says, if the Northern California coast gets less fog, the state's iconic redwoods may be in trouble. Fog, the lifeblood of the redwoods. And with every opening in the forest from logging, there's less and less of it. The ground dries out, heats up, and fog retreats. The Lost Coast lies along the Pacific in Northern California, a secluded area, undeveloped beaches, and mountains so steep and unstable that efforts to extend U.S. Highway 1 were abandoned decades ago. Spanning from the Cinquion Wilderness to the King Range National Conservation Area, and extending inland through the narrow Redwoods to Sea Wildlife Corridor to the Humboldt Redwood State Park. This area has a long conservation history with high public trust values. Climbing Rainbow Ridge west of the majestic Redwoods, we find another unprotected primeval ancient forest, the last intact coastal Douglas fir forest, 18,000 acres standing between Humboldt Redwoods and the Pacific Ocean, generator of fog and temperate climate. Rainbow Ridge. Its breathtaking primeval Douglas fir and hardwood forest, owned by Humboldt Redwood Company, successor to Pacific Lumber, and they have plans to fragment it with logging in the last thousand acres of old forest that dot Rainbow's sunny south-facing slopes. Here, amidst rich grasslands and woodlands, home to rare and endangered species, the Golden Eagle, Northern Goshawk, Pacific Fisher, Sonoma Tree Vole, and many, many more life forms that can only exist in an intact landscape. The waters flowing from Rainbow Ridge are vital to the struggling wild Matole River Coho, Chinook, and Steelhead populations which local residents, aided by public investment of millions of dollars, in an all-out 30-plus year effort ensures the next generation's natural bounty. Since 1990, Matole residents have been protecting these forests through arrests, direct action, and lawsuits. This unique ecosystem, 18,000 acres of temperate rainforest, edged by high prairie meadow systems, has the ability to sequester more carbon than most any other place on Earth. Conserving these stands represents an opportunity to stabilize the climate. The 150-year-old unentered landscape represents natural recovery from man's first incursion on Rainbow Ridge in the 1860s. Taken together, Rainbow Ridge completes the Redwoods to the Sea project allowing the flow of cool, moisture-laden ocean air to reach the redwoods on the Eel River and along the way to be retained long into the summer, providing temperate wildlife corridors for terrestrial species to thrive and expand their populations free from industrial activities. Rainbow Ridge has been the life support system for the redwood forest since time immemorial. Will the Rockefeller Forest ancient redwoods survive climate change? Will the species that were once too numerous to count? This generation is deciding right now.